With regards to the skills that you develop in an electrical mechanical field, at its core, has been around since Faraday or Ohm's Law, you know, so it doesn't change whether you're in Spain or if you're in Biloxi. Those skills are always applicable. You can work in any industry. You can work in entertainment, you can work in automotive, you can work in robotics, you can work out in agriculture, defense, aerospace. There's a lot of very cool jobs for someone who's interested. Our world would fall apart without uh, electrical technicians. Um, electrical technicians are key in our industry and automation. The Electronics and Electrical Technology program encompasses multiple fields, aerospace, defense, automotive, manufacturing, to name a few. This takes a student all the way from basic fundamental skills with point-to-point -point wiring, schematic reading, blueprint reading, into controls, automation, robotics, pre-engineering subjects such as embedded controls, and they can really work in any number of these fields. A large amount of your career pathway would depend on your personal interests and, and things you enjoy doing. I think there's a little bit of everything for someone in electrical, to be honest. Students are drawn to the electrical technician field because of the flexibility in the different industries that they can get exposed to. We support different types of industries from oil and gas, automotive. Rahul Automation also manufactures our own products, not just hardware, but also software solutions. So in our plans, it's critical that we employ electrical technicians that can help us um, produce and be more efficient and also keep our manufacturing running. It's one thing to sit in a classroom and, and learn the theories um, in, in technology, but it's, it, it has a significantly more impact when students get a chance to apply them and experience hands-on technical training. Everything's hands-on, in the lab, uh, you come in, you do it, and you finish, and then you meet that performance-based objective for that particular day. In terms of uh, the student experience coming in, whether they're doing a certificate or a degree, the vast majority of employers will either pay for their uh, classroom and college experience or related technical instruction, so they do graduate debt-free and they're right into the workforce the entire time. I absolutely worked and went to school, which is was, I think is awesome about this program. These classes and their hours are designed for the working, not traditional student. If a student can come in with a certain skill set in any technical area and add in uh, a class or two which might provide an industry cert, roll that into a one-year certificate and then roll that into a two-year associate degree and then even roll that into a bachelor degree and beyond, this all is amazing help for them in their work. I started out doing residential, worked up through commercial, into light industrial, to power plants and oil refineries. And that's a 28 year career. But over that career, I've continued to come back to mine because of this additional skills that I need as technology changes. The skills gap we're looking for are programs like Mott Community College where it focuses on technical training and hands-on experiences. For any student interested in technology, just immerse yourself in the topics. If you like to be outside, there's something for you there. Uh, if you like to work with a computer, of course, you can do that. A lot of these positions lead to project management, leadership positions where you can kind of lead a team. I know for a fact that there is something for everyone in the broader electrical field if they're interested. <laughs>